What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another cube draft here on uh, the Magic the Gathering machine. And, uh... Dot internet. Dot internet slash Michael B. Slash Rob's mom dot co. This pack is poop. What are we taking out of this poop pack? Probably Bizarre of Baghdad. <coughs> Bizarre of Baghdad? I'm just kidding. That card sucks. I was like, what? This is a really rough pack. There's nothing good. I like these two on top of each other. But not like in a weird way. Not like in any <laughs> kind of, not like in any kind of inappropriate way. Hmm. Yeah, I lean towards Tafiri. Tafiri? Mm -hmm. You have nothing Tafiri but Tafiri himself. Grand Dynamo does keep us open though. Who does? Grand Dynamo. What about Gruel Signet? I think that's worse than Grand. What Dynamo. about? Bizarre Baghdad. Do you want to go all in on Reanimator right now? What about Rick's Mad Eye Reveler? No. Oh, okay. That's not a real card. That's <laughs> it's one of these two, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? <sighs> you got four seconds. Just say it. Thran Dynamo. Dang it! I wanted that Tefri. So Ooh, I like him. Take Ugin. I was thinking that. <clears throat> I do like a Eugene. There's also a Splinter Twin and a Recurring Nightmare. I vote for Bizarre. Let's go. Go deep. Yeah, so if we took Bizarre, we'd definitely be going deep. That's for sure. Definitely be going deep. You might say we'd be going super deep because you'd be digging into your library three cards at a time. I'm going to take this Eugene. Well, it's two cards at a time. Shut up. God, why does he like this? Can I, can I talk to you guys privately for a second without Michael here? Because I don't understand why he's like this. Is there any psychologists in the audience that could explain why he does the things he does? Because I I can't anymore. I'm just done. Hey man, what's going on? <coughs> oh well, yeah. What do you uh, What do you think the pick is here? Birdie. You think it's bird? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, you're not allowed to. Why not? It's ramp. It's ramp if you're green. It's green ramp. What's the problem with green? That's the ugliest ramp. We always <coughs> do good with green. We always do good with green. Well, the green hasn't looked that open, to be honest. You don't look that open. Got him. You know what? This is ramp, too. Let's take Pyretic Ritual. But that's only one time ramp. How many times do you need? As many times as possible. I literally have no idea what to pick this pack. I'm going to take the Crucible Rolls. How about that? Gross. I took it. Took it to the limit. One more time. See, now you can take Sakura Boy. Soccer Boy? Sakura. Sakura. What about Skull Clamp? What about or not Skull Clamp deck? Biogenic Ooze, huh? I want you to think about it. I guess. By guess. Take it to the Michael B. One more time. Uh, Sakura Tribe Builder. Skull Clamp. Biogenic Ooze. I don't know, man. None of these cards are super exciting to me. You're right. I just want to cast our Ugin. That was a weird pick. I don't know what to do. Ooh, I like a compulsive research. <clears throat> I like a control magic too, though. I'm gonna take a control magic. <clears throat> What's even happening here? Let's let's take the control magic. Yeah, it's pretty late control magic. Ooh, a bad lands? That's the worst kind of lands. How about a courser of crew fix? Oh, now you want to go green? I do. I do. Gonna set your mic on fire, make you say, hey now, hey now, Michael B's on fire. You're just gonna use that for gonna randomness on your stream <laughs> until it runs out of gas. I'm gonna use it till it runs out of gas now. Gonna take my drifter, my drifter. Gonna put my drifter in this pot. Gonna take a mull drifter and play. Gonna put a skull clamp on it. Let's say mull drift, mull drift. You drift, mull drift. I actually have to have three coasters on my desk because while I have one drink, Michael always has two. You gotta stay <laughs> hydrated, bro. He's a two drinky boy. Is it sword? I guess. You don't even care. 
Nope. You're not emotionally invested here at all. This has been a weird draft. Nothing exciting, really. Wait till that pack two. That's where the excitement happens. Okay. Why is Mike always passing to me? <clears throat> That's unbelievable to me. He's stealing all our goodies. He is stealing all our goodies. You goody stealing son of a biscuit. What in tarnation? Get out of my draft. I bet that winner a will wheel because no one wants that shit. I don't even want it. Yeah, that card's trash. Only bad people want to want winner over the wheel. But 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 bad people. That is one bad person. Bird person. Me leggy hurts. Me leggy hurts. Mm -hmm. Why? Because that's what father likes. Father likes that your leggy hurts? Mm -hmm. Buddy, please. Father doesn't like that at all. Look at that. We got two green rampy boys on the wheel. I think Wall of Roots is probably better. You're going to pass a Vraska here? We don't have black. Yep. Oh, my God. Uh, stick the Druid, whatever. I don't even care. Kitchen Finks or Reveler? Kitchen Finks. Oh, yeah. Oh, Biscuits. Look at that. We, we, got all, came back. we got everything we wanted. Father even. It's been a long day. What did you say? You're farther? Mike, you're farther. Mooch will pass your father something. That's what farther likes. You're farther. <laughs> oh, man. This is a different Michael. This is McGimp. This is McGimp that's passing us cards. What does he want? What do you? What don't I want? Oh, that's a late fiery confluence. Here's a Mizzy Mortars. All the red cards came back. Could have been a good red deck. Michael doesn't believe in red card. Wow, and light up the stage. Holy smokes! And that Hellrider even returned. There you go. See, you just gotta, you Someone's just gotta believe, Michael. You just gotta believe, Mooch. Michael the Mooch. That's his. That's his mafioso name. Michael the Mooch. Michael the Mooch. He's, uh... That skull clump's looking pretty bad. No. He's known for busting out your kneecaps. Skull clamp never looks bad. You're just stupid. Yeah, what are you going to put it on? Uh, literally any one of our creatures. And if they die, then we get to draw two cards. Yeah, but only Reclamation Stage enthusiastically dies to it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, calm down. You like that. Father liked that. I'm going to take this for fellows. Father That's... likes for fellows. Father does like for fellows. <laughs> Laughs in Skeletor. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. I can't. Hey, man. Mm -hmm. I'm still wondering why you haven't chopped off your legs yet. Because I feel like that would really take care of the problem. I like walking. I guess. It's a pretty cool feature. It's a bug, not a feature. Hey man, you want to go play some Pokemon this weekend? No. Alright, well. Maybe some other time then. Nope, probably not. <laughs> That's messed up, man. What do, you think of, what do you think of this pack? It's got some gems in it. We got Sylvan Carry added, got a Vivian Rude. I feel like we have a lot of ramp, so I'd probably take a proactive card here. You're a proactive card. We don't have that much ramp. We literally have three things that ramp us. Four or three in Dynamo. Oh, this is gonna ramp us to five? So we uh -huh. take so we take this? Yeah. Instead of naturally just casting on five? That's good. I can understand that. I think I'd rather take Viv because Viv is a less a less common effect. And maybe Sylvan Carry added comes back. Ooh, Tropical Island? That's a good one. Ooh. ooh. Please stop now. Okay, well, I was just having a little fun. Just having a little goof. How do you feel about this guy? Uh, it could get better. Oh, my God. Nothing's ever good enough for you, is Thank it? Thank you. 
Scofasco, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. How do you feel about this guy? Pretty good. All right, well, we're going to take all these green cards that we didn't expect to get. Frank and beans. Frank and beans. Let me see your face. Put it in the fire. Put your face in the fire. Put your face in the fire. For feel, I guess. Wanna burn your eyebrows in a fire. Put your face in the fire. Jace Bellerin. More like Jace Bellerin. Is it more like that? I also like Hostage Shaker. If we can find a way to splash this black. I'm not sure. I want to take this because I don't. Uh, I don't like double blue on three when we have a Rafelos. This is fine because late game it's great, but like. Oh, look at that. Look, it's a little traggy boy. Oh, it's your little traggy boy. You ever put a skull clamp on Thragtus, then when it dies, you get a 3 3 and you draw two? <laughs> Unbelievable. That's pretty good. Yeah. I know. I think our deck is great. And I think we're probably going to 6 0. Really? Welp, I was green. Well, not anymore, idiot. <laughs> Thanks for the Rafellos to the Vivian Reed and the Green Sun Zenith. <laughs> Someone stop him. Got him. Send help. Got him. If you love somebody, set them on fire. That's what I always say. If you, teach, saying. if you teach a man to create a fire, he can eat for a couple days or you know something like that. But if you set him on fire, he's going to be a warm dude forever. I'll take a Taiga just in case. Now we can play light at the stage. Which is actually not terrible because it just draws you two. Oh, well, there you go. Now we got a reason to play that. This goes to go with Green Sun Zenith. Oh, all right. Man, that tiger's looking better and better right now. Tiger's looking fresh. I love a good tiger. Tiger. If you give a man a fire, he can eat for days. If you set him on fire, he becomes a warm man. He becomes a, a woman? A, what? <laughs> a woman? I don't understand. Are you... How you doing, man? Let's talk about your life. How you doing? Doing alright. How are... What, let's Thank talk you. about... Let's talk about your real life, though. What are you... How are you really doing, you know? You know what I mean? I said okay. Mm, but really, though. Doomsday, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. I appreciate you. Yeah. Chanel. I mean, we have a lot of things that uh, we can we can Chanel. Yeah, I'm just taking Chanel. Can we get like a... Oh, okay. Well, it's a fat boy. Fat boy slim. That deranged tournament didn't come back, so I, I imagine <coughs> McGimp took it. I mean, you just don't pass this guy. That's really what it comes down to. Nice instrument. I know. You know how I know? Exactly. <laughs> oh, Eureka. I don't know if that's any good, though. Oh, Mind's Desire. I don't know if that's any good, though. Kind of like Vencer here. Yeah. Even though it's Dublé Blue. Mm hmm. Du Dublé, Michael Dublé. You know what? Whatever. I'll take it because I like you, buddy. I'll take it because I like you. Oh, Natural Order? <clears throat> and a Jit. And a Jit and an Eternal Witness? Oh, shoot. Natural order is pretty good. Yeah, but we only have like three creatures that we can even sacrifice before. Uh, I guess it's like five, but that's still not a lot. <laughs> I don't really want to. Uh, hmm. 
I'm gonna take Ewit. I do like an Ewit. Ryan started the fire. I don't know, man. Natural Lord should be too good. Can we oh, splash that? It's a late mind twist. Take out the Crucible. I don't foresee us playing that. Make it probably sound exciting. Make it probably sound exciting. Actually, could be good with uh with Chanel. Chanel number five. And then we have three and Dynamo and Soul Ring. A lot, of, a lot of colored mana requirements. Double, 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 triple, double, 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 double with uh, soaring. Double, double. <sighs> yeah, I don't see us going for mono green. Then we lose one, two, three, four, five cards. Six cards. So then we're down to 18 playables. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's going to. It doesn't seem Slime like. Slime boy. not Edrico? No, I don't think so. Whatever. I'll take a slimy boy. Oh, Copperline Gorge. Oh, Kodama's reach seems good, though. Yeah, let's reach it up. Might just need more land, though. We have 25 playables already. I can see now playing guns here. Oh, Garrick. And Botanical Sanctum? I'll take the Sanctum. Same. Man, if that Verdant Catacomb came back, I'd be really grateful. <clears throat> I don't foresee it happening, though. Fetch lines never come back. No. They're too ungrateful. Let's put that over there. For, oh, overgrown tomb. That's pretty good, right? No. Oh, yeah. It does absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's a pretty bad pack. I mean, the one with no playables in it for us, yeah. Uh, Overgrown Tomb lets us cast Hostage Taker. Yeah. Yeah, Torrential Girl has, like, no targets whatsoever. Yeah, I'll just take this, whatever. Oh, my God. Wow. Beautiful. That gets Taiga and Trop and Overgrown. That's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Maybe now we can play Hostage Taker. Hmm. It's a Eureka. Hmm. A Eureka. A Yurka. Mm -hmm. hmm. 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 Assassin's Trophy. My who started the fire. Did it fire for the good or not? My who started the fire. That's a light. That's a late pester mite. Pester Mite, Is Primal if you Command will. a better green Sunia? Not really. Do you think it is? Do you think it is? But you can get whatever you want. You can do that with green Sun Zenith. But it's versatile. Okay. Hmm. Clicking the play is pretty good, though. You can probably take out Eureka. Definitely. We could probably play 24 here. Yikes. We got Soul Ring. Oh, Skull Clan. What is that? Is there, you still really want to play that? No, I guess not. There. We have a deck.
Yeah, that's a good point. Sundering Titan is a little awkward if we're playing three colors. Yeah, but then our channel is like really unexciting. I hate the question, do you need a, a color? Like, do you need blue? No, we don't need it, but there's no cost to playing it. Like, we have Botanical Sanctum, we have Tropical Island, we have Kodama's Reach. Like, there's no cost to playing the blue cards. Like, it's so I don't, I, like, I don't understand. I, I really dislike that question because you don't play, you're not playing cards because you need them. Like, you're playing cards because you want to play them. I mean, we'd have to have Rafelos and like five forests and a channel. Like that's not a, and and any of those other cards in our hand. That's like a six card, six card combo. It's not super ideal. I almost like just playing Hostage Taker, cutting Sundering Titan. Then we can just play all these lands. Okay. I could also see playing Eureka. Me. Eh. Over like over channel. Hmm. Channel did get less exciting without Right, I, I think Channel's actually pretty unexciting in this deck But I don't know, it could just win out of nowhere Like it could be turn 2 Thrain Dynamo into Sword or something I don't know Or turn 2 Ugin, pretty good Pretty good I'm going to play 2 Islands so I can search for both of them with Kodama's Reach I'm going to play 1 Swamp, 1 of this None of these This is too many, I think, right? So this is 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 forests for Rafelos. That's fine. I guess we only have one black card. I mean, we can uh, we can just use Overgrown Tomb, Burden Catacombs for it. I don't love that. Because adding one swamp gives us two more sources, thanks to Kodama's Reach. I don't have any, we don't even have creatures we can search for with green sun zenith to make a black, so. Uh, I do not count soaring as a land, no, because it costs mana. It's only in that pile because that's where the lands went. <laughs> like, that's not, that was not meant to, that was just literally how it worked out. Not necessarily uh, an indication or anything. All right, let's... This is an interesting deck. This is the old four-color green deck. Uh, what do I think of Echo Eons? I don't have many thoughts about it. I don't even know what that is. Um, I mean, if you can get it into your graveyard and play it for three, it's pretty interesting. But, you know, six mana time twister. <laughs> Excuse me. That your, own, that your opponent gets to take advantage of first is usually not great. Oh, yeah. I mean, I like... But, I don't know, if you just toss it in your graveyard with, like, a Faithless Looting, like... I mean, yeah, but then, like, even then, like, you have to have a lot of mana. Like, in Modern, you have to have, like, six or seven mana to really, like, flashback for three and then still use it for, like, four. Like, to still, like, have four mana left over to, like, play something afterwards. Shenanigans. And I feel like giving any... Giving other decks in Modern seven new cards is pretty scary I don't know like I, I don't know what to make of this card what do you think about Hogak oh old Hogak oh you know I don't know the card's alright it's an 8-8 for Trample. Like, like, it's too powerful you're not allowed to spend mana on it no, it's no. a 7 mana 8-8 eight, eight. do not spend mana oh that's interesting now we have all our colors. Oh, look at that little old Nighthawk. Well, nothing to play here. Nothing to play here, folks. Back in like 2012, 2013, I kind of thought you were a scrubby casual and didn't remember being considered good enough to give advice to others about MTG. Interesting. 
Luckily, I grew up and realized I was being a bit of a neckbeard idiot, and now you're probably the only one you got to watch Legend of Liberty. <laughs> right click concede, man. I'm glad you've uh, glad you've changed your tune, man. That was a, that's an awesome story, man. I really appreciate you saying so. I would hate you if I didn't love you so much. Man, that's hilarious. I feel like that's also, like, the way a lot of Magic players feel, too. Like, that's not about me, but in general, like, that's a kind of attitude. Like, a lot of, like... Um, yeah, there's so many entitled Magic players. A lot I of, think they, like, should be on the Pro Tour. Right, like, a lot of grindy Magic players with chips on their shoulders. Like, I feel like that's how a lot of Magic players feel. Magic is an interesting game, because in order to play it, you have to be intelligent. Here comes Mind Twist for four. You have to be intelligent. Yep, there you go. Wow. And they hit everything but our lands. Fantastico. <laughs> Um. Yep. And then we drew another one. That's cool. That's real. That's real something. Um. You have to be intelligent to play it, and in order to do well at it, it requires you to be, uh, smarter than the other person. So you have these rare situations where like people actually think like, "Hey, this person's actually better than me," or like not better, maybe not even better, but like, you know, they they have something to contribute or something to offer me. Oh, this this match is going well. Glad we don't have our hostage taker anymore. Thank you. So I think unlike other things, like like say comics or movies, like there's a higher barrier of entry to like to talk about magic because everyone in the room thinks they're the best at it because that's literally what you have to be in order to be successful at magic. You know, it's a really weird kind of like Yeah, we're definitely blocking this idiot. In before they have any removal spell. No, all right, we just get rid of. It. All right, seems decent, I guess. Oh, good. They can get their grave tag. Yeah, I think that's. I think that's most competitive games. Sure, I agree with that. I think that's competitive gaming in general. Either way, that was a great story, and I really appreciated you telling me that. Which Grand Prix did you talk about? Uh, Grand Prix, it was Grand Prix Orlando in like 2014, I think. Okay, well, we're literally going to draw literal, literal all lands and have our Crater Hoof Thrag Test Hostage Taker discarded. Yep, that was, that was good times. Everybody's having fun. Everybody having a good time. Hmm. Exactly. I didn't. I, I didn't. Who are you referring to? Not I. Yeah, I'll take out Rex Sage. They're playing mono black. That guy's probably just just trash anyway. I'll have you know, if we had Skull Clamp, we could have equipped it to our Hunt Master when we blocked. And we could have drawn two cards. Could have also equipped it to the Wolf, and then we'd have six power between Kitchen Finks and uh, the Wolf, and then we could keep our Hunt Master. So, in your face, idiot. Got him. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. We're going to try to turn three channel. Because if we have three green, we can channel in green sun. And throw in dynamo. That seems all right. You can only 0-4 drop so many GPs and opens before you realize maybe the guys getting published know what they're talking about. Like, the thing about me is, like, I think I think my magic pedigree speaks for itself at this point. Like, and, you know, if someone doesn't think so, like, they're welcome to do better or get a better offer than me or write for sites as well like they're like i'm not stopping anyone from doing what they have to do you know this game is nothing but rng ever wins the coin flip weird these 10 15 people seem to coin flip yeah it's like it's like wow savage and 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 ties and uh, like all these people are are always winning these events yet uh boy it's a real it's a real coin flip format It's like the same thing with poker, too. It's like, wow, this one guy keeps winning yeah. all his bracelets. Man, he must be really good at coin flips, huh? <laughs> he must be the luckiest dude on earth. Like, all these games have luck inherent to them, but, like, the people who rise to the top are definitely, uh, they're maximizing their, their chances to, to be lucky, so to speak. Oh, we can actually channel here, can't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what can we get? You like Dragon Warrior Tarka? That seems pretty scary. 
That seems pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, let's channel for that. So we're gonna channel. Uh, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, this guy. And then we're gonna go green sun for one, two, one, two, three. So we're not getting Crater Host, so I'm just going to do it for 7. We could also get a single... This is where this is where Woodfall Primus would really do me a... Uh, yeah, that would be great. Do me here, solid but... here. All 5 to this idiot. Oh, they didn't even discard anything in response. Liliana of the Veil, vale, sacrifice your Dragon Lord Atarka. Oh, just a Toxic Deluge for eight. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we're so close. I'm going to actually use this instead in case we draw something. Because we don't need it for anything else. So, Oh, we're not going to draw anything, actually. What am I talking about? This isn't uh, <laughs> this isn't Muldrifter or something. What the hell? Magic's so hard, and there's so many things going on. I'm just really confused, guys. Anyway, we're just going to play it again next I'm time. so confused. Oh. Confused? Oh. oh, we just won the game. They, they just saw natural order. They don't even know what we have. They could have at least waited until we natural ordered. We have their death. Do we have that? Is that a thing we own? I feel like the niche of writing about magic is super specialized. Some exceptional players aren't great at communicating why that is... And what leads to their success while others can write amazing articles even if they're not playing at the highest level finding some and and the interesting thing about so this is an interesting thing about magic writing right it's weird to me that everyone who wins an event or does really well or is on a hot streak or whatever starts writing articles like the fact that it's weird to me that like every magic player is also simultaneously a, a writer like, that's weird, because it's, like, that's not super common. Like, you don't see that in other games or, or, you know, other walks of life where somebody's good at something. So, automatically, they're qualified to to write articles. Shut up turn turn to Hunt money. Master seems good. Oh, get paid, good sir. Oh, Luke, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Not Neon Tokyo Rain by any means, but just Luke. I'll call you Luke. That seems good. Dude, thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Good lord, what a saint. What an absolute saint. That's Saint Luke. Hey man, are you still going to your mom's house? Unbelievable. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments. Should me and Mike go get some food tonight? Or should Mike go to his mom's house? And, uh... And have SpaghettiOs. Yeah, we're gonna have SpaghettiOs. Well, that's probably what you guys eat. Spaghetti, spaghetti, spoobly daddy. Hey man, what do you think of shenanigans? What do you mean that? What the? They're gonna exhume Gonti? Huh? He does have that touch. Who cares about all that? Go to your mom's house, Mike. Mike, keep in mind, Mike goes to his mom's house like every, literally every week. Not every week, man. You okay? Because you skip a week or two. That just means <laughs> free food's pretty cool. You know what else was cool? Hang out with your friends, Michael. Six mana, huh? Can we go one, two, three, kitchen fink? That'd be seven mana now, or one shy. One. Hey, what's that name of your favorite restaurant? The one with the, with the shit all over the walls. And the mozzarella sticks? Oh yeah, shenanigans. Oh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick slime their stupid bizarre bag dead. Or the swamp. Wow. <laughs> Oh, no beats. That's fine. He lives with his dad. It's only fair he gets some visitation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Why are you guys like this? Why don't I just thwack them? What does that mean? Thwack him, man. You don't know about the old thwacking? I don't, actually. I don't either. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm just going to stick slime. Do I just get rid of the swamp here? I think so. Feel free to discard three cards all you want, buddy. Now who has the death toucher? You'd filthy death toucher. 
I mean, they get to draw two, so they go seven, and they discard three, so they go to four, and then they play a land. What's that place with little take Frank out to your mom's for spaghetti? Yeah, man, how come you never invite me over to your mom's house? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Well, you think about it. Think about it, I'll listen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my god, we're so close. Oh my god. What do you mean? We can green sun for seven, not eight. Four, five, six, seven. I mean, One, getting Dragon Lord and Tarkus still seems pretty good. It ain't terrible. Yeah, get rid of the Gaunti attack for a bunch. I mean, I'd rather just play a creature, like play Vivian and Kitchen Finks this turn. Okay. Because then next turn, we get to, uh, then we can green sun next turn. Spaghetti, spaghetti. That's the way you do it with the Michael B all day. Need some taquitos in my life. You need some taquitos? Go yeah. get some taquitos. I think we're gonna. What are you gonna get to drink, man? A little grape energy drink. A grape energy drink? Yeah. <laughs> I like that you specified the flavor. I'm gonna get a grape energy drink. What did Neon Tokyo Rain say? Did you just say, guess I'll watch it on the YouTuber? What happened? I missed it. How did the swords do? Oh, it went it went pretty well, actually. We went one. We went 2 1. Yeah, it was all right. The matches we lost were. Uh, oh, we do have to worry about Deluge. Decidedly. Nah, I think that's fine. We have. Oh, it's pretty bad, actually. Well, we get Kitchen Fink still. Yeah, I'll get Corsair Recruit Fink here. Did you hear Hunter biting his nails over there? Chomp, 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 chomp. Pupitos? I have never heard of Pupitos, actually. Is that like a. Is that like a, is that the fatherly taquito? And the, taqu I don't, yeah, I got nothing here. This, all right, they didn't block, so that makes me think they're not going to deluge here. Are we going to make another wolf? God, Huntmaster is such a good card, dude. Puppy flavored, oh my god. No, not okay. I actually like that Hunter, because here's the thing about Hunter. He will not let me clip his nails for anything. But... All his nails are clipped. Oh, I see. They didn't block because they were like, all your guys are going to be X2s. And uh, because he bites his nails. It's very strange, but he does it. And, uh, you know, good for him. He, yeah, no, he hates a trimmer. Like, he, he doesn't. Unless you're saying go to a trimmer, in which case, it's well, just put him in that thing it's so stressful for him. Yeah, they have to put him in that thing where they can't move. The, the Like the doggy bag. How much does Huntmaster cost? Is Huntmaster pricey? Are you really? referring to, like, price cost? There's no way that thing's expensive, right? Right. There's no way. Four bucks. What are you talking about? Oh, Biogenic Ooze seems like a... Like a... The skews like and a the fun bruise. I'm sorry, what? The skews and the bruise. Hmm. One, two, three. Then I have one, two... Oh, then we have four or five. Yeah, we can do this still. Yep, let's go Courser. See if there's a Landy Boy on the tippity top. There is. Oh, and there's another one right on the top. Let's see if this Overgrown Tomb goes away when we search for, like, a Tropical Island. Oh, it did. Mm. Good for the, good for us. Mm. Mm. Oh, they just conceded the game. Wow, this has been good. Turn 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 one, uh, not turn one, but game one Mind Twist for five for our entire hand into... Uh, they basically just concede the next two games. Father's gonna go get some taquitos. <coughs> Would you like anything? I like that you just coughed right into the mic. This is what you do. You're like, this is terrible. Let me show you guys mic right now. Father's gonna get some taquitos. <coughs> like you didn't back I, up. I, I you didn't, didn't mean like to go to I the didn't side. Mean to do it to the mic. You just, just didn't happened. move your head at all. It was like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> It was like 12 to 15 last check. Still can't spend 20 on a place that I've card I don't actually need. Well, what cards do you actually need? If that's the case. Do I want anything? Um, Get me a Slurpee, but get me like a smaller one than, than yesterday. Like, how smaller? I don't know, like the next size down. Okay. 
Like mix you know, that wild cherry mix again? that coke and that wild cherry. The coke and the wild cherry. Yeah, okay. make that make like that a cherry. Layer? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Or do you want do you want layers? No, you don't have to go crazy it. with it. Okay. But yeah, just give me like half and half. Mike's just hitting the seven, not the not the speedway. Yesterday he went to get taquitos and they were out, were they? Yeah. And he was like, "Dang," so I think he's still craving those taquitos. Uh. <laughs> I'm going to bottom this guy. We need another land to cast him anyway. Oh, Coke, that all Mike's back. Yeah, they have it at the 7 now. Oh, good. Mox, really. Oh, here we go. Oh, boy. There's a lot of excitement happening. Who wins in a fist fight? Huntmaster or Mayor of Aver... Uh, I think... I think Huntmaster? So, Huntmaster's a 2-2. Two -two, Mayor's a 1-1. One -one. Huntmaster flips into a 4-4. Four -four. Mayor flips into a 3-3. Three -three. I think Mayor is more civilized than Huntmaster is just like, buddy, he, he's a Huntmaster. What more do you need? What more do you need? Okay, well, that's something. Mayor pumps on me. Mayor actually helps the Huntmaster. He's like, here, buddy, beat me with this. That's a weird thing to say. Hoisted by his own mayor mayorly petard. Okay, this is... This is not... This mana base is something else right now. That's the way you do it. Do you guys remember Grape Escape? The game Grape Escape? Because now I have that song stuck in my head because Mike said a grape thing. Okay. Channel. It's a green. Alright. We're getting somewhere. Not any were good, but they're not really doing anything either, so. What do you got? One, two, three, four, five. They have a goblin welder with no real action going on here. Yeah, this cradle is. Come on, land or thing we can cast. Well. <laughs> Who? Says the guy on the receiving end. It's a 17 turn o'clock now, buddy. Oh, look. With all your artifacts. All right, so any land and we we got it. We got a game. Another five drop. Oh, look, they're not done yet. They always have Worm Coil. Oh, Crucible Worlds. Sure. You got it. I think Blast Stone's fine. I don't think there's a real... There's, there's no real cost to having it in your deck. Oh. Oh, boy. He's just dead, right? One, two, three... If we had one more land, we could actually natural order here. If this is a forest, no, that wouldn't do it either. I mean, if this is a forest, we'd still have three other plays, though, so. Put a counter on this, and then they dodge their one, and they're, I, guess they, I guess we're trading a Boros Signet and a Blast Zone for Rafelos. It's not terrible. Chad, I did not. I did not actually. I could probably just look it up. Let me go to my. Yeah, that's fine. So it's two for one. And then I'll replay it with my graveyard card. Ugh. You got it. You got it. Batter skull, huh? Okay. Well. They only have two mana up? Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, so now if we draw land, we can just kill the batter skull and they can kick that's I guess they could get it back. Well we, we drew a crater hoof, guys, so it's not. It's okay, don't worry. Don't worry, it's just crater hoof. Crutch Jr., what's going on, buddy? Uh Rage One. Here we go. It was on May 17th that it went up.
Chat, I believe this is it. And it actually, I thought, I think it went pretty well. I mean, clamp is always. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, still can't play anything here. This is actually pretty surprising. I'm actually like pretty shocked at this turn of events. Um. I'm gonna discard Mull Drifter here. I feel like this is a this is a match where like. In most situations, we actually shouldn't be losing. Wow, they played a Swamp from their hand instead of the Pluto Delta. Interesting. Chocolate or rain, chocolate rain. So I guess we go to two here, right? One, two, three. If we had one green, one more green, we could Thrag Tusk here. No, of course you have a Mana League. <laughs> Mana League and we can't even pay for it. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, man. That's... That's quite a win there. That was quite a win. I'm impressed. I am 100% uh, impressed with that victory. Whew. That was beautiful. That was a work of art. The cube ends next Wednesday, so there's still time. There's still like a week left. Oh, this is nice. I will keep this hand for sure. So we could play Courser next turn. I think we just want to play Thran Dynamo. One, two, three, four, five. We have, we have eight mana next turn. That's pretty good. So we can go Forest, Courser, and Kodama's Reach? Sure. Well, that's not what we're looking for. Let's go this guy. Uh, let's get a swamp and the other island. Put the island in play. And burn the mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. We can just hard cast an Ulamog next turn. Ooh, hostage taker, huh? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, do we see anything that can just blow up our board? Rafelos is... We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 per, uh, mana cost permanence, which is pretty sweet. I think I'd rather just have another creature on board. I, I don't think we're at any risk of him damnationing or... Uh, day of judgmenting or anything like that. All right, drawing this seems pretty good. Playing a free land seems pretty good. Lots of things seem pretty good. Well, 
We put this on uh, on here despite getting a bunch of free lands. Uh, despite being able to untap our lands because I just am not assuming it'll connect and I'd rather have my colored mana to use with... Uh... Oh, it does connect. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Did not see that coming. So, play the land. One, two... We can just do that for. We can probably just do this for. Yeah, we'll do it for six. I don't know what our six is. I don't think we want Dragon Lord's Ark. I think we just want something like uh, Acidic Slime. What did the What did we see that we cared about last game? I think they conceded. Yep. All right. <laughs> so I'm like, I cannot target. What did we see last game? Not lands, that's for sure. Well, well played. Well played, Lance. Well played. I'll keep this hand. We're going to save this because we can get a Taiga or a uh, an Overgrown Tomb or um, a Tropical Island. So if we draw a blue card or a red card or a black card, we can determine what we want to use. I mean, unfortunately, if we had... Actually, this is five mana, so we wouldn't be able to do it anyway. But next turn we can actually go over Felos into how much mana is that? Like a thousand mana on turn three. This is also a lot of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's that's a lot of mana too. Whew, one turn away from that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight mana next turn. It's pretty good. <sighs> Lodestone Golem. Sure. I demand thick boy noise when the thick boy comes out. Which thick boy? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, seven, eight. Oh, anyone. Okay. Okay. I was more, I was more concerned with using this, but I think using the Academy is actually probably fine. Cube ends next Wednesday, Chad. Tell me more. So now they're cut off blue, which I guess is good. And now they're spinning the top, which... They only have two cards in hand? That seems great for us. Especially when we have Biogenic Ooze on board. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six... I'm actually going to take this. Yeah, this seems fine. Like, I feel like they want us to kill that. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. Biogenic ooze. Cradle. Make another ooze. That seems good. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Ooze tribal, ladies and gentlemen. Ooze your daddy. I don't necessarily think these oozes are thick, though, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait on the sun. Oh, they hit a blue. They can't upheaval, though, so that's good. Oh, all right. Thirst is thirst is fine. Thirst is like okay. I need to dig for something, and and I'm gonna take up my turn to do it, and I'm gonna do it in the main phase. I don't actually know who's my dad. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, okay. Well, we're just gonna do the thing now, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we did it for seven. Oh, that's not what I want to do at all. Oh, no. They don't have to know. It's fine. Oh, that's so sad. That makes me feel terrible about my life choices. Oh, well. Damn, boy! He's thick, boy! That's a thick-ass boy! Damn! Ba -ba! So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to hold you back. So what do you make? Three? What a dumb miscount. Oh, that was so sad. And this man has a Proto Top 8 and FNM Top 4. Hey, buddy, I, I won. I've won FNM before. How dare you? Vili, what's going on? Long time no see, my friend. I feel like you have been here less frequently. And that makes me sad. Toxic for 4. Okay. Are they going to dismember? That would be so good, dude. We'd be so punished. Oh, it was the Lodestone Golem. I knew I didn't miscount. Oh, man. That's what it was. Wow. That's hilarious. Well, they're trying to find an answer to this that costs two mana. That's interesting. Math like magic is hard. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you on all these things, and we are currently 2-0 with this deck, so that's pretty cool. This four color. Work has been a pain in the buttocks recently with the end of fiscal coming up, so basically all the time I can catch streams during life. That's unbelievable. I need you to quit. And uh, you just need to be a full-time stream viewer and patron, my friend. I'm sorry. That's just how it's going to be. That's just, that's just life now, really. Ninety nine Frank being one short bits. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fair. I blame you guys. I'm also paying attention to you guys the whole time. I'm like, hey guys. Yeah, the opponent's like, I'll top at the end step. I'll draw a card, I'll top. Is it my turn yet? I'll top again. This is why the card's banned in like modern and legacy and all the other formats, because it's just like Buddy, you can't use top responsibly. So you don't you don't deserve it anymore. I will play first. I, yeah, I actually love that you guys just hang out. on. You're like, hey, a lunch stream. Sweet. That's hilarious to me. And I'm a fan. Can we get a turn two channel? I don't feel like that's an unreasonable ask. I feel like we've had some unlu unluck. That's not it. That's not what I'm looking for here. Kodama's Reach is nice, though. It lets us play Muldrifter. Quite
quite soon. Is this the last stream until Tuesday? Unbelievable, Thwok. Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay, channel. Here we go. I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Oh, you too. Like the band. Let's get Island Swamp. Put the island into play. Keep the swamp. We, it wasn't channel, guys. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed. We did not draw a channel. I was disappointed. It was, uh, it's not great. This is, that's not it either, unfortunately, so. Don't counter my mole drifter with your four mana, but you always do because you have no soul. Oh my god. I don't like you. I thought I did because you were nice in the chat. Do, 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 do. Well, here we are. Here we are. Oh, I think Michael's back. AKA Moochel. Okay, one time. Uh, is that good? That actually seems great. We can get rid of that. What are we getting here? Acidic slime. Kill this idiot. Seems good. Seems good. Frank, why did you not draw a channel? Honestly, Frank, why did you not draw a channel? Let yourself down. You let your son Moochel down, but most of all, you let Villy down. Yeah, I know. I know. Villy, when do you start school? June? July? Guys. Don't say have fun if you're going to mind twist me for a thousand. That's just my feeling on the matter. Oh, nice. I forgot I got a Slurpee, actually. That's hilarious. Are you guys ready? Look at this. Look at this beautiful Coke Cherry Slurpee mix. Has anyone ever got a Slurpee where it doesn't just become liquid on the bottom and then you got, like, the, the ice just slowly floats back up? And that's how they come. Is it? Sure. Is that their... <clears throat> that's their default. Oh, that's sad. First week of September, and I'll probably go back home for a month before it's home being India or Seattle. Oh, Consecrated Sphinx. Yep, that's all I need to see. Here, have fun. I'll mind twist you for five, then play Consecrated Sphinx, so I will draw twice as many cards. <clears throat> Close game. Billy, let me know when you go to India. I'll come with you. That sounds sick. But it was not close game. It was BGs. <laughs> we could play Terminate. I could actually see Terminate coming in. And Assassin's Trophy. It's got the natural order. I mean, I get sick when I go to, to local states. I'd probably get sick. I wonder if it's because I haven't, like, my body's immune system sucks because, like, I work from home, so I'm not exposed to as much, uh... Jeremy's. Jeremy's, yeah. Remember that Pearl Jam song, Jeremy? No. I will play first. <gasps> okay, it's okay. You gotta draw something. It's okay, we don't have anything yet. I kept the black, red, double blue channel hand with nuts. I mean, come on, this hand is wonderful if we can top deck a new gun right off the tippity top. Are you guys are you guys ready? Right right off of it. The tippity top, it's coming. Are you guys ready? I want you to be ready. Ready? Hmm. That wasn't it. I 
I can feel it. I, I, I mean, I'm so in tune with Michael's coughing that I just know when it's coming. Well, that's a gesture. I go like this. Well, I didn't have to hear. I just heard you go. <gasps> like you take these big inhales right before you cough. It's because there's phlegm. You should really go to a doctor. About phlegm? Every day. Yeah. Every day? No, that's when you have it. You cough every day. Every day you have these coughs. It's just phlegm, man. I'm getting phlegm out. Why do you have so much phlegm, though? Because you just get phlegm from eating and drinking stuff. Not everyone does. Well, I do. Why? Because... Explain it to me, Michael. I would explain it, but you wouldn't understand, so there's no point, really. That hurts my feelings. Because I was trying to get educated, and you denied me. You denied me that. That's not a doctor problem. Yeah, you go to the doctor, and you're like, yeah, I got some phlegm. And he's like, yep. All right. How... Uh, what do you want me to do? Can you can you make it stop? What is this? That's what is this emote? emote? <laughs> oh lord. Well, I hope they don't have anything. Oh, they're just playing like basic lands, like a like a derp. Here comes Toxic Dailies. You ready? Oh. Oh, wow. You are a real... You are a real biscuit jabroni. Yeah, it's half a Terminate. You're right. <clears throat> You're right. I guess we're just going to keep making... Keep making oozles. This guy's going to come in because we can make more. You can't. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to have so many oozes, you can't even deal with them. You're going to have to go to the ooze doctor, and you're going to be like, Doctor, I need to get these oozes removed, because I have too many of them. And the doctor's going to be like, no. And he's going to send you home. Oh, shit. I'm waiting for this Ugin. That's a kitchen fink. You know about the kitchen fink. So I'll take a black. I will take two blue. Or I'll take an Ugin. Those are my options here. I think it's probably better to just make an Ooze than a Kitchen Fink here. They can make one snake. I can make an Ooze every turn. These guys are going to get huge, too. Huge. It's, they're going to be huge. <clears throat> that does not sound like a reputable doctor. It wasn't. Oofs do not equal Oozes. Yeah, this is not a biogenic Oof. Oh, this is funny because you clearly have no other lands. <laughs> oh, we have a good time. Come on. Oh, I, I can kill this, I guess. That would be a waste of mana. I'd rather just make an ooze. It's alive. Do, 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 What is that? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh my god, it's so familiar. No, you definitely know it. I do. I definitely do. Oh, wow, are you serious? Now I have to use... Give me green. I'll take a blue. How dare you take my ooze. You'll Eat. never see me or my ooze again. <clears throat> Too bad Kitchen thinks is an ooze. I know, we just went over that. Mmm. Mmm. Well. Don't like that. No, sir, don't like it. Oof. Brown oof. Maybe we can cast it. That's pretty good. I'm just going to pass here. I'm pretty sure they're just going to upheaval now because they have five cards and no lands. Shut up and take my money. What's happening? Let's have some big Eldrazi fun and blow up stuff. Must take thick Eldrazi sneak attack show and tell channel teeth. And oh, this sounds great. I like when you give me stipulations that are literally just things I want to do anyway. Yo, Team J, bro. What's going on, my dude? Please don't upheaval. Oh, God. 
You know he's gonna. I know he's gonna. He's gonna. I, he hates <clears throat> life and he hates having. F oh. Okay. Well, that just means you're not gonna do it yet. So that's fine. It's a lot. What is this? Oh my god! It's driving me insane, dude. Give me a hint. No, you can't even give me a hint. It'll just probably give it away. You definitely got the song right there. That's because I can hear it in my head, and it goes like this, right? Like, there's, like, electricity? No, maybe not. I don't know. So we can just play Dragon Lord 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, we can just hard cast this boy. Do they have Mystic Snake? Yeah, they probably have Mystic Snake. Thank you. Aren't they just, like, dead Darataka? You'd think so. Unless they have Mystic Snake. But if they don't... I guess if they don't, that's pretty good. Oh, Villy gifting a sub to J-Bro. That's nice. Isn't it just Wizard of Oz song with the... No. No, you're thinking of that. Um, Alright, do we channel here in case, they're, in case they have, like, Mana Leak, though? <clears throat> I think we actually do channel here. Oh, they can't. Oh, yeah, they can. Okay. I was like, oh, they can't make a green. Boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, ba, boom, ba, 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 boom, ba, 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 I'm assuming they have Mystic Snake. That's my assumption. And they're going to add blue with this. Yep, here we go. That's worse. Well, that's sad. That makes me sad. If we play Gaia's Cradle, how many creature, how many oozes can we make in one turn? No, they're definitely not dead on board. Are they three blockers? They block eleven with the one one. They block the nine nine with. It. They block an eight eight with a nine nine, and they can just chump block another big one if they have to. So they're only taking six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Although we do get to play this next turn. Den Protector for control magic, it seems like. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, that's unfortunate. Unless we can top deck an island or, an S or, a, or a swamp. One time underneath. Okay, acidic slime. Well, seems good. It does destroy the control magic. Yeah, but not until next turn when they can make another ooze and. Dimitri, have a good afternoon, buddy. You know what? Sure. I all I need is the card on the top of my library anyway, so I ain't too worried about it. Trophy does hit control magic, but we don't have any black mana. So Oh, great. <clears throat> oh, what it's like to never not have it. Oh, this, is a, this is a weird attack. I mean, I'm trading one ooze for this, for their ooze, and then I get to get back my guy. Fascinating. Yeah, that was a weird attack. 
I mean, we're still not... We're. I mean, they get to draw cards, but we're not, not in this right now. Wait, do we have one floating? No, so we can't go one, two, three, seven, eight. So we can make two. If we had one more mana, we can actually make a guy, and then this make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we can make three. So we're one shy. We're we're, we're one mana shy of making three right now. I guess I'll have to be happy with making two. Eventually, we will outgrow them. God, I hope so. I've outgrown you. Wow. Is Moochel drinking dinosaur DNA? Dino DNA. Yep, they're definitely going to do some shenanigans here, so... Oh, boy. Is this how people... If it was, it doesn't make sense to get rid of your den protector. It's probably just damnation. Nope. Yep. <laughs> well, we're drawing Thrag Tusk. I guess that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's less cool now. That is actually less cool. Remember that time we boarded and terminated an assassin's trophy and we didn't have mana for either? That was I do remember. Cool. How about an Ugin? Would that be good? Probably fine. Can you stop playing things? I'd really appreciate that. Are they going to activate Tassiger? I don't want you to have any of these things. I guess Ophiomancer is like the least oppressive card in here. <sighs> yeah, Ugin misses Wormcoil, but we can plus him, block Tassiger if they attack with Tassiger, block Wormcoil if they only block attack with Wormcoil, plus Ugin again. Like, it just gives you a lot of things on board. Oh, I see. Well, now I'll give you Hanger Back Walker, I suppose. Well, I think we're gonna. I think this is a two-one. So, what are we gonna hit? Classic, solid. I know, might. <clears throat> yeah. I also feel like a crater huff at any different point in the, in the last game would have been very, very good. Did I say last game? I meant last few turns before. I I mean, when I say last game, I mean pre-upheaval. Pre because that was a very different game. Or pre-damnation. We'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, you can have Coalition Relic. Yeah, that's fine. So what do they have? Ophiomancer, Coalition Relic, Relic, Mancer... Put a counter on that, sure. You got it. Good games. We had good games. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Also, check out manatraders.com. The link and promo code are in the description. I also had an article go up just today on CoolStuffInc.com about Agro Loam and Modern, so be sure to check that out as well. You can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. Definitely check that out. And leave a comment on the actual article. Go to CoolStuffInc.com, leave a comment on the article itself so they know that it's, uh, it's being read, it's well received. Helps me out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.